Going to begin tonight with hunger in our state. A 2023 study found Arkansas has the highest rate of food insecurity in the country. Well, tonight, in response to that, Little Rock City leaders voted to create a food commission to tackle hunger in the capital city. Channel 7's Brenda Lipinski is on your side, live in our studio tonight. Brenda, uh, hunger we know causes a wide range of issues for our neighbors. Yes, Chris, that's right. In fact, multiple studies show that hunger or lack of access to food has been linked to lower educational outcomes and poor health. Now, city leaders are hoping that this new ordinance will help combat some of those issues. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 All those opposed, please say nay. Ayes have it. In a unanimous vote, the city of Little Rock voting in favor of an ordinance to start a city food commission. We have high food insecurity rates in our city. We have high rates of food insecurity among our children. Director of Ward 3, Kathy Webb, who sponsored the now adopted ordinance, is a longtime hunger relief advocate who says this is needed. Around 65% of the children in the Little Rock School District qualify for free and reduced meals. So it cuts across um, area of our city, it cuts across race, it cuts across age, and we have too many people who are food insecure. The commission will be made up of seven members, including a member of the Little Rock Board of Directors, a person in urban agriculture, a hunger relief advocate, a retailer, and three interested residents who will serve as an advisory board for the mayor and the board of directors. A key part of the commission is to work on the recommendations that were made by the Food Desert Task Force. We have additional responsibilities that will involve work with diet-related diseases, nutrition education, community gardens. Web hoping this will help neighbors in the city we pass by every day. And we don't always know who is food insecure. Um, more often than not, it can be somebody who's working two jobs trying to make ends meet. It can be a senior who's living on a fixed income and has to and has to choose between having enough money to buy medicine and having enough money to buy food. Now the seven member commission has three open spots for Little Rock residents. Webb says that they'll also be needing master gardeners who would want to participate and look after a hunger garden. On your side, I'm Brenda Lipinski. Okay, Brenda, thanks so much. The commission is also charged with crafting food policy to be considered by the board.